Hello there everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Mania Legends. So in the community milestone event we are just about to hit the 6 million mark and when we get there we will unlock the Hypnos Dragon for free in a calendar event which is what it says here. Uh, but it does say if the Hypnos Dragon ever wakes up from its nap you may meet one of them at the end of this month. And I mean it's the 27th so I'm assuming that if we get this a milestone or if we reach this milestone event it's gonna happen like as soon as this event is over or will this calendar event start as soon as we hit the six million milestone now that's left to be seen I hope we don't have to wait too much longer but there we go we just got some more added to the school there but either way we are gonna be able to take a look at this new dragon so I'm gonna go and breed another guy over here and we can hatch this smoke dragon you know, just to make sure that we're doing a little bit of a part in this event overall. Like, 17 score is not a lot so far, but at least, um, at least I'm trying at least a little bit. And there is also a promotion on currently, and this promotion is actually very, very worth it. So this is the Visceros Privilege Bundle with the Imperial, a water habitat, and food i believe that this is tailored to your player level so if you were like a really low level it would be a lower amount but i'm not sure but either way this is for three pound and 89p and you know the imperial dragon which is this one right here he is my favorite dragon in the game and he's normally 875 gems on his own but obviously with this bundle only being like just under four pounds it's actually super cheap and so I would definitely suggest buying him if you are someone that is interested in the Imperial Dragon. I already have one, so I won't be buying it myself, but a you know, lovable little dragon with water, fire, and wind. And, you know, there is the new dragon. Uh, I've forgotten the name of it, but he's kind of like his second cousin. I always say that, so you might be able to add him and the new Chinese looking dragon to your collection eventually, which would be pretty sweet. But for now, we are going to do a couple of fights like we always do because I need to make sure I'm doing these fights as often as I can. Like, admittedly, I haven't opened DML in like over a day or so. But obviously that doesn't stop me from hearing a lot about things that people are finding. The, like rumors that people think about what is coming in this new update. And uh, I did want to talk about one thing that I've been messaged about like not even joking, like eight times today. And um, apparently there is a iOS application for DML that shows all of the DML wiki info and that. And apparently on there, there's been a posting about multiple new divine dragons. And all of these new dragons appear to have names of, of different gods. Just like the Hypnos, you know, the god of sleep or like, I don't know, just sleepiness or whatever the heck it is. And Aphrodite, if she ends up being real, then she's like the, the dragon of love or like breeding sort of thing. Or just like procreation. So, you know, I don't know if that's true or not. So far for the theme of the rest of the dragons that we know of, which is like one max of two if that one's even true. But, you know, Greek-themed islands, divine element sounds godly. You know, I can definitely imagine that maybe that's the sort of theme that they're going with. But, you know, like I said, multiple, multiple people keep asking me about this new application or something that is posted about all of these new dragons. And the thing is, I'm not sure how reliable that source is literally at all. And uh, because it's not something that looks like it's come from in-game, I'm not sure how much I can trust all of the screenshots. So for now, I'm not going to report on it as if it is true, and I am not going to report on it as if it is even slightly true. It may very well be, but for now, I'm going to leave the assuming of, uh, or sort of the really expectation that they're real. I'll just leave that to a little bit later on. Because, you know, in the Codex we can see some of the other new dragons, like the Medusa and the Cappuccino and stuff like that that's also been posted onto that app site, or 
application and um you know, we can see those dragons, but I don't see any of the divine dragons in the game yet. Just like how I don't actually see the divine element itself implemented into the game yet. So, like I said, we don't know whether the divine element's going to come out in a new patch or something of those lines. So then it can be officially implemented into the elemental typings. And, you know, at the same time, whenever we get new elements and stuff like that i'd expect us to get new map like new map fights but realistically for us to have more map fights we'd need to increase the dragon level in which case would the max dragon level be going up to level 90 or is this update just about the new element stuff you know for now i guess we'll just wait and see what Gameloft has to say and by the end of this calendar event obviously we'll find out whether we're gonna unlock this new like the second free dragon whatever that may be and you know we'll see if they're willing to give us any more info we'll say whether the actual implementation of these guys is gonna happen at a later date or not because obviously i have no bloody idea but you know, at the same time, I'm intrigued. I really, really want to know what happens with this new element. And also, the fact that this guy has level 70s at rank 900 makes me very, very upset. I'll just ignore this fight. Never happened. Never happened at all. But, yeah, look. Mini has been the final boss for a good while now, so maybe it really is time to have a little bit of a shake-up. But myself and so many players are still really really inquisitive about where this new element is gonna sit and I just want to know I just want to know like we got a new element but I don't care about getting the new element I just care about how it's gonna mess with sort of the typings and weaknesses strengths and what else it has with the rest of the stuff that is mostly what I care about and you know, new dragons means we might get some cute ones, although godly ones. Is there like a a cute god that anyone knows of? I don't know, but if there is, then I'll definitely be looking forward to sort of a cutesy little dragon. That is for sure. You know, like I said, we'll just see what happens. I'm not going to assume anything until we actually see it out there. Just like with the other screenshots that I mentioned, like, we didn't know whether they were true or not, and I prefaced that specifically because, you know, rumours are still rumours. Until Gameloft makes an official statement about any of this stuff, we don't know whether it's true or not. Or you see it in-game, because obviously if it gets mentioned in a milestone event, then it's probably true. Because if it's not, that'd be pretty ridiculous. And I saw a few people saying, what if they just boycott adding the divine element to the game for some reason and like i i don't think that that would ever happen like why make an entire event on an element if you're just not going to implement it into the game anyway like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense personally maybe i just uh i doubt that that is going to happen greatly we'll see what happens though and we need to upgrade this habitat we also need to upgrade our earth habitat need to remember to do that and we can move a couple of our earth dragons over there now actually so we'll move our goblin we will move mr tiktok called time over there as well and then we can move you into this one then we will put that one into our inventory and now we can build another habitat space so what do we have left that needs to be put into these that is coming out of a legendary habitat he's fire you are also fire, so maybe we'll just build another fire habitat. You know, we get plenty of fire dragons that get released all the time, so we'll just build another one, make do, and that should, that should definitely start giving us a whole lot more room. You see, now if we get a new dragon, we can actually put one into this fire habitat, we can put one into there, we can put one into the earth habitat when it gets upgraded. We're going Gucci for now. Absolutely Gucci. Oh, it's so stressful when you have no space for new dragons because you just want new stuff so badly But if you breed it, then you're gonna have nowhere to put it And can you imagine never ever being able to take anything out of your hatching? 
like your breeding den or your hatchery. That, that's an awful feeling. I've had that happen once or twice in the past in there. Uh, you know, it just builds up so much stress. It's like, oh my god, there's a new dragon of the week and I'm not even allowed to breed it. Fantastic. Like, imagine if that dragon of the week was like a dragon that would never, ever be a dragon of the week ever again. I would actually probably, like, maybe, maybe cry a little bit. Maybe cry a little bit on the inside, you know. But uh, one more thing that uh, I forgot to mention that happened with the new update stuff, which I don't think Gameloft have really touched on either. Mr. Torchy here actually has a torch on his back now. Because he used to just have, like, his plain body and it just used to be, like, a weird sphere and everyone was like, what the heck is that about? But no, he finally has flames coming out of his back. And those look like real flames, so it's not like some of the fake fire that comes out of the other dragons, like, uh... I don't know, who, who has, like, fake fire? Like, this volcano fire just looked kind of weird to me. Again, maybe that is just a me thing, but I find that kind of strange. But... You know, none of that fake stuff. This looks like real burning fire right here, which is pretty cool. But that should do us for now. You know, I just wanted to do a few fights and just talk about what is potentially going to be happening when we hit this next milestone. We do have a long way left to go in the event, and whether we're actually going to finish it or not, who knows? Because by the time the event's over, it will not be the weekend anymore. And we probably only saw an influx of numbers because of all, like, the kids coming out of school. You know, parents not having to be at work and stuff like that. So that is probably the reason why we got such a big increase in players on Friday night. But it seems to have eased off a little bit now. So, four days left. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a negative Nancy. Still seems like 15's a little bit out of our reach, which I would be very upset to find out if we didn't actually unlock that dragon at the end there, but, you know, for now, it will be left to be seen, and, you know, just keep breeding, keep breeding your fire and wind dragons as much as you can, you know, if every player breeds 10, I'm pretty sure we could do this event, so, for now, I'm gonna leave you guys there, but thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you then.